Welcome to this printing tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Kit Request. It's a piece of software you use to send PDF files to your Kit printers. Kit printers are normally large format printers, um, and this is quite a handy piece of software to use for sending multiple PDFs at once, or just one or two prints if you prefer. <clears throat> so, in this part of the window, you need to browse for way to where your files are kept. And here you can see your files which are within this folder. In this video I'm going to show you how to print an A0. Now in the normal case you select your file first when it comes to printing or you open your file. But in this case you need to select your properties first and then select your file. So you need to remember that, that's important. By default it's set to 100%. Now this is quite handy because 100% is to scale. So you don't need to worry about um, scaling issues there if it's set to 100% because what this software does it reads the PDF file finds out the scale of the print or the page within the PDF and then sends that to the machine if you uh, you don't have to go down that route but you know it's quicker to do that but you can actually select A0 there or you can do A0 fit now this will force it to fit to an A0 page. You can use this to uh, scale a print up, say if it was on A1 or A2, you could get it to fit to an A0. But obviously it wouldn't be to scale. So in this case we'll select A0. A requester. Now it'll ask you, if you have different users on the machine, it'll ask you for the requester. Okay. All these fields you don't have to worry about, to be honest with you. It's just this one, the size of your print, the requester, and the number of copies. As long as this is set to automatic, you don't need to worry about setting the uh, the orientation. This is the uh, paper type. These are pretty straightforward. It will ask you to enter a password if you have different users on the machine. So you just enter your password there. You say OK. OK, so now that is set. So we select a file now. As you can see, it's checked and it's added down here. As you can see there, it tells you the size it's going to print it at. Okay. And you go submit job. Or submit print job. Right. Use size in image. That's fine. We don't need to check size. And you just click OK. And that will send it to the machine. 